Yeah, the Onga uh, maintenance work on uh, Allied commercial unit. These are made by Lennox, a five ton unit. Uh, so I change. It takes four filters, uh, 16 by 20 by 2, and then it takes two uh, 20 by 20 by 2. Uh, they were, uh, they were, yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, they skipped one because these ones have to be maintained twice a year. Uh, and I don't recall coming back here last winter. But anyways, uh, uh, that's uh, I check. Um, and also, I checked the belt. The belt is not too bad, but our marked it's A42. I'm gonna gonna come back here uh, for before winter in October. They actually phoned me late this year to me uh, for maintenance on this. So I have to get that pulley. Like there's, uh, I can adjust that pulley, so that pulley is worn out. This one I can adjust. Uh, that pulley could be adjusted, but not with that one. So I have to buy a new one, and also the belt has to be replaced. It's not too bad now. Uh, it will last another uh, four or five months, but what is it? October, July, July, August, September, October. It's like three, four months away from now. So we just uh, run it like this, uh, and uh, it's a uh, speedy time of the year. Uh, yeah, so I just get these parts. Uh, I order them. Uh, they uh, ship it to my house, and then uh, on next uh, uh, maintenance call, uh, uh, we change these and uh, adjust the uh, tension on the belt. But other than that. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, for winter when we come back for maintenance, uh, that's where the uh, burners are, the gas valve, that's the uh, pressure switch right down there, and uh, high limit, uh, so all those burners, uh, uh, this uh, this side comes off here, this guy's, that plate comes off, and then uh, shut the gas off here, to pull that out and uh, clean the burners. And that's where the uh, uh, heat exchanger is back there. Yeah, so just uh, regular stuff. All right, I uh, guess, uh, yeah, it works. You know, everything uh, works just, uh, but you know, it, like I said, they skip one uh, appointment. Uh, so the filters are getting there, you know. That will cause uh, the evaporator coil to freeze up. Right, and... Uh, not a good thing, uh, especially uh, if you don't have a suction line accumulator, a liquid refrigerant could get into the compressor. It's, a, it's one of the main reasons that uh, uh, kills the compressor is uh, uh, filters like that. Uh, yep. All right. Anyways, uh, got to continue on here. Uh, just uh, yeah, finish this up. Uh, all right, chop.